In this demo, we walk you through the new BigQuery Studio UI and get you familiar with the capabilities we discussed in this module. In the Cloud Console, we go to BigQuery and then click on BigQuery Studio to launch it. When the UI launches, you will see the button to create SQL queries. Later, when we enable required APIs, you will see another button here to create Python notebooks. But let's start with Dua AI in the Cloud Console, the new AI-powered collaborator. First things first, we enable the Cloud AI Companion API. Once enabled, you can then ask questions of Dua AI to get assistance. It can be a very general prompt, like, how do I get started with BigQuery? And in the response that is generated, it tells you to start with a Google Cloud project, which we already have, then the API, which again is done, and next step is the dataset creation. This is useful information, so let's do exactly that. Right next to the project, we follow the steps to create a dataset. Enter a dataset ID for it, leave everything else default, and then click Create Dataset. Once created, back in the Duet AI pane, we can then ask a more specific question, like, how do I learn which datasets and tables are available to me in BigQuery? And the response goes you guidance on how to go about doing that via the console or API, as well as using the information schema. And it also provides you with the SQL to query the views. All right, let's close the Duet AI pane for now and we will come back to it in just a little bit. Apart from the Duet AI in Cloud Console, you just saw there is also Duet AI in BigQuery, which can assist you with more specific BigQuery-related tasks. So click on the button here and follow the steps to join the Trusted Tester Program, enable the required API, and grant required permissions. Once all that goes through, you click on the Duet AI in BigQuery button again and you see a list of features you can get help on, like SQL completion, SQL generation, and SQL explanation. We will look at each of these in action. Let's start with SQL explanation. Say you are collaborating with a team of analysts and chance upon one of their rather complex SQL statements. You can paste it in the query box, highlight the query, right-click, and select the Explain Current Selection option. The Duet AI pane will open on the right and provide you with an explanation of the SQL statement. At the top, you see an overall explanation of what the query does with a more detailed breakdown below. It tells you the data sources being queried and all the other aspects of the query, like the join condition, how the results are grouped, how the results are sorted, and the limit clause, followed by a summary too. All right, that was useful when you have the SQL query. But what if you need help in writing one? Duet AI can help you there as well. Click here to open the SQL generation widget and write what you intend to query in natural language. It may help to be specific with details like tables and aggregations. Once ready, click on the Generate button, and in the response, you see a query written for you based on the prompt you provided. Once you review it, Click on the Insert button to copy it in the query box. You will also see the prompt you provided at the top. Take note that sometimes you may need to tweak the query a little. In this example, you will notice that the column name needs some updating. So we can easily open up the table, verify the actual column name is in fact ID and not product ID. So let's close this and make that simple column name update and the query here. Now let's go ahead and run this query. Once the results populate, we will try to create a chart using these results, which is one of the things we talked about in an earlier lesson. The line graph does look a little busy, so we can always change this to a bar chart. Feel free to play around with this and change the dimensions and other settings to get the best visual that meet your requirements. Let's go back to the results and show yet another cool new usability feature we talked about in this module, which is the sorting option right from the UI. And once that completes, you will see the results sorted on the column you had selected. Now let's see how SQL completion works in action. 
Say I start typing a query. Since SQL completion was enabled, Duet AI in BigQuery will try to help me complete my query as I type it out. Like in this example, it prompts me one possible option. And if I am happy with it, even if you think it is a great starting point and can make changes later, simply hit tab and the suggestion gets copied. Again, tweak it to suit your needs and then run the query. All right, now let's close the SQL Query Editor and show you how to work with notebooks. In the Cloud Console, we navigate to Colab Enterprise under Vertex AI and start by enabling the required APIs. Once enabled, let's go ahead and create a new notebook. Upon creation, notice the notebook name. Now let's navigate back to BigQuery Studio and notice that we can now create Python notebooks from within the UI because the APIs are enabled. Secondly, when we expand the project and look under Notebooks, we can easily access the notebook just created under Vertex AI, and we can create Python notebooks right from the BigQuery Studio UI as well, which when shared, can also be accessed via Vertex AI. Hope you find this demo useful to get started with the new features introduced via BigQuery Studio 